Hello, everyone. I'm Ahmad Koshuk. I'm a solution engineer uh, for Kong. And uh, today I'm going to be walking through Insomnia and uh, get you started to use it in five minutes. What is Insomnia? It's an open source desktop application for making API designs and requests. You can always download the latest Insomnia at insomnia.rest slash download. This is where you find the latest release. Now, I already have Insomnia installed on my computer, so I'll be skipping this step. But if you please complete it, you'll be able to follow along uh, this video. Please hit pause now, go ahead and get it installed, and uh, come back as soon as you're done. Well, great. Now that you are done, you will be greeted by a screen very similar to this, except I have all these documents created, which you will not have. And from here, we will create our first uh, collection together in which we will test some APIs. So. On the top, right hand side, click new, or create request collection, and we will call it our test collection. And that will take you through the collection that you uh, just opened. And here we will create a request uh, for us to test. We can go to HTTP bin, which is uh, usually a, a pretty easy and simple um, service for us to try out to get a feel for how to use Insomnia. So if we create a new request by clicking on the top left hand side, new requests, we'll say HTTP bin test. Once we do that, we will have a simple UI where we have the requests over the left hand side and the response over the right hand side. Notice that you have uh, similar shortcuts to uh, manage your environments, to uh, send the request, to uh, focus on the uh, URL bar. These are all convenient if you're a developer, you like these shortcuts. Very well. So now that we have the URL pasted, let's do a test. Notice we get back a 200 OK. Let's switch to the headers and we can see what came back to us. OK. This is just the header, these are just the headers, but of course in response chain, uh, we will be able to look at the payload size, the timing, the timeline, the cookies that came back and so forth. These are all tools that are useful for us developers to be able to debug what our APIs are doing. Now let's explore a more uh, powerful feature in Insomnia and that is environment variables. Uh, the idea here is that if we have multiple requests and we want to make a change to any of them, we don't want to go request by request to do it. So I will take, uh, let's say the host name over here, and then I will go to environments and I will create a new environment. Uh, I will call this space environment and in here we'll have a host. It is in JSON format. So we'll say this is the host. And once we click done, now we have an environment variable that we can use. We can at any point do control space or command space in order to access the environment variables. So I will delete this here and then we do command space or control space rather. And the environment variable will pop up, pop up for me. Here it is. So we will want the hosts. And now if I click send again, it will have substituted the host environment variable for me. So there you have it. Uh, that was a very simple test where we uh, created a collection, we created a request, and we created an environment variable. If you have any questions or encounter any issues, uh, please don't hesitate to reach out to the Vibrant Insomnia community. You can find the Insomnia Slack channel there, and you can always issue PR on Insomnia uh, on GitHub. Thank you so much for following along with me today, and I hope to see you in upcoming videos on Insomnia.